How to fall asleep It might seem easy for a lot of you But for me and others It can be a real struggle You know how it is You laying in bed Bored Thoughts are running through your mind You want to get your phone Because you just can't get to fall asleep I know a lot of you can probably relate It's annoying when it happens to you Your body is unwilling to collaborate And is unwilling to relax enough For you to get into dreaming mode I will list a few things that I tried and have been successful with when it comes to falling asleep. It usually starts with what you do and don't do during the day. One of the things you should not do is drink coffee. Cut it out all together. I know a lot of people recommend not drinking coffee after noon, but for some people like me, even a cup of coffee in the early morning can keep you awake late at night. What you should do is exercise with intensity. Whether you want to lift weights, box, sprint or swim, exercise will always help with your sleep. Follow the circadian rhythms. You want to wake up around sunrise, so when it's sundown, your body will know it's time to wind down and slowly but surely make you more sleepy. Eating some good carbs one hour before sleep can help. Bananas are especially good. I would stop drinking a few hours before sleep because if you do, it will wake you up in the middle of the night and you might not be able to get back to your dreams. Take a hot shower. A cold shower is known to give you energy, whereas a warm shower can make you feel lazy and sleepy and that is exactly what you need. Avoid blue lights late at night. Computer screens, phone screens will make your brain think it's not time to fall asleep yet. There is a software called Flux that will filter the blue light and keep the light in a mode where it won't prevent your brain from switching off. Take melatonin supplements. It's not a miracle remedy but it does help. Melatonin will make you fall asleep more rapidly and keep you asleep longer. 45 to 60 minutes before sleep, shut your computer. Turn your phone to airplane mode. I know it's tough, but those lights and screen will stimulate your mind unnecessarily at this hour and prevent you from falling asleep easily. During this time, you can meditate and or read fiction. Do not read something that will stimulate your mind too much. I usually meditate, clear my mind. I might also do some loving and kindness meditation. Keep the room as dark as possible and also wear a sleep mask. The room should be as quiet as possible and you can use those white noise apps. I haven't used them for a while but they can definitely help. Keep the room nice and cool, it will help your body relax. When you're in bed, lying down under the blankets, try to find the most comfortable position and relax your body as much as possible. You want to take deep breaths and let go of any tension in your body. Enjoy and be grateful to be able to be in such a comfortable environment. Do not let your mind wander in thoughts too much. Stay present and do not be anxious to fall asleep rapidly. Picture yourself lying down on the grass and sleeping with a smile on your face. You can list what you are grateful for and send love to the people you care about. That's a great way to fall asleep and have great dreams. Less is more. This short book is straight to the point. It talks about sex, nutrition, relationships, fulfillment, meditation, love, mental minimalism, fasting, gratitude, and the list goes on. Everything you need to start living a more inspired life is in here and it will take only 30 minutes to read. So don't waste time, get it as soon as possible. Check the link in the description below.